Hello YouTube, this is Judson Game 44 here, and today we are here to review the Butterfly Trap and Lord of Art Thride. I don't know if I'm getting that name right. But besides that, let's begin with Butterfly Trap. This episode was finally Eclipse's trial coming up. Now, for this episode, we finally have to see where she was. Turns out this is a private trial, and then everyone in the kingdom is not going to see this. It's just going to be the Magic High Commission with Star, of course, and she was the one who suggested it. And Moon wants her to see it so she can see that she was found guilty. And pretty much they're all having problems with they actually had to sort out everything, making sure they got everything right for a trial, which they should have done. In reality, they should actually do this before the trial even begins. Now, besides all that, Eclipse had suggested the box where everything can be done way more quicker and everything. So, what exactly happens? Basically, they all answer one question. One of them answered that if she wrote the Book of Spells, and it's actually a fact, she didn't name it the Dark Magic Book of Evil Chapter. That was their name, actually, for it. And there were a lot of spells she didn't even put into it yet. She kept rewriting, but they found her evil for that. Eclipsa was asked, did or did you abandon your husband, which we finally found out who her husband was. Which honestly, I'm kind of surprised that she left, uh... Then again, no, screw it. That husband was ugly, I would rather pick a monster any day. Basically, the question was whether or not she choose a left or not. They, and if she was found guilty for that, she told the truth. Which, they never really explained why exactly did she left everything for a monster. So really, they can't find her guilty for that. It was more selfless, but not evil. And Rombius, last one before Moon came. Rombius asked, Did you hate those babies? Which was a quick joke. But she was still found guilty for that. Even though she told the truth. Anyway, what else happened? Well, pretty much. Well, pretty much, you see what happens next is simple. Moon asks, Are you sorry what you've done? Eclipse says, No. And they found her guilty, evil. And about to be crystallized, she asks that she gets one question. And her question is, what have you done to my daughter? And they're all lying, and then pretty much the box gets angry and then tries to kill them all. So, Rombius actually tells the truth, saying we got rid of your daughter, sorry. And explains what happens next. Basically, her daughter was swapped with some humble peasant. The wand and the crown were basically given to her as a baby to be crowned as next Queen of Muni. Of course, that was years later, but still, so, pretty much, she was switched into a, just some peasant house. And Meteor has been staying there for all these days. I think we are going to get a flashback episode soon. However, though, after this, Star pretty much left, because now, Star and Clip them, that includes Moon, Selena, and the Shy, as we all know, that all pretty much realize that they're not actually part of the butterfly family, they're actually not even close to have the crown, the cheek marks, the wand, anything. So, what exactly happens next? Star runs out and that's the end of the episode. Now, pretty much this. Next up is Lower Where Art Fly. Now, I don't know if I'm getting this right, but I got Butterfly Trap right. So, let's pretty much get on to this one. So, for this one, this really has no star or marker in it until at the end. But it's nothing more about a pair of dummies. Basically, it's Ludo's brother pretty much talking about where Ludo has been staying for all this time in the realm. But Ludo's brother has been pretty much, it was pretty much the last sibling who still live with his parents. And he's been, have to be dealing with all their nonsense and everything. And he's pretty much straight as a child, but turns out he really does have a lot of respect for Ludo a lot. And he keeps things with them, which... Turns out he has the spire and he has the board with them. They have the dimension sisters from a package, which now we know where those things went. He looked for portal, portal and everything, and then they eventually found him. They have a little talk and everything, and it turns out Ludo was going crazy being in that realm. And he has dummies of his parents, and they're pretty much going crazier and crazier. I actually thought they were some dolls inside, like similar to Adventure Time with the floaties that turned out to be monsters inside. But it turns out Ludo was doing this on purpose, trying to make his own brother go insane, 
to actually try to help him to snap and finally stand up for himself. Ludo was actually teaching his big bro or wait, no, was it little brother? Well, whatever it was again. Basically, Ludo was able to teach him how to be, how to stand up for himself, and teach him that he should be going on his own adventures. And he still has a lot of work there. At the end of the episode, we pretty much have a dummy of Star and Marco saying, "Hello, Star and Marco. How about a game of Siraj? Yeah, there was really not that much to talk about this episode. I did find it funny how come there were more and more dummies of the, of his, of their parents. But it was really funny how come making it go insane. But really, there was nothing much to this episode. I do think we're going to get more of both his brother and Ludo in, in future episodes, since the way we've seen this. But for now, we're just going to have to wait and see what's going to happen. By the way, guys, I'm only not really good at doing these Star Forces Evil reviews, just because I haven't really done with these types for a while. So, just a quick update about these types of things. I'm going to be processing doing more of these videos. And... I will be trying to focus more in the future, making these videos better. So until then though, this is Judge Game 44 signing out. Until then, I'll see you all later. Bye!